Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. Welcome to Six Months to Sarah. Um, officially one month today. I started this um, exactly a month ago on this very spot in my room because I was sad. And you know, this all started from a, uh, a, a situation with a guy that didn't work out that then caused me to one night I was up I was it was like 2 a.m. and I was upset and I started I found this a dating coach guy and I started listening to that which turned into watching a Tony Robbins documentary on Netflix which turned into my insomnia that led me to have this epiphany of doing this six-month journey so you know when they say everything happens for a reason I'm not sure if everything happens for a reason guys but I know that some things happen for a reason and the chain of events that have happened that have caused this epiphanal moment where I decided to change my life publicly. I knew that the things, you know, the relationship that I have with this person and this series of events that happened leading up to, it wasn't just this person. It was kind of like a bunch of things and then this person and then, okay, something needs to change. And here I am a month later. But listen, <clears throat> This weekend, I paint, I decided to paint my living room and my hallway by myself, no help, no idea what the F I was doing. I thought it would be totally cute, you know, like at a movie when the girl's like, I'm changing my life and I'm painting my apartment. It's really cute. Oh my gosh. And then I'd be wearing like my cute jeans and like listening to music, just painting. <laughs> no, it's not effing like that at all. It's hard, it's hard, and I got paint everywhere, and I got paint in my face, and in my fingernails, and in my eyeballs, and in my hair, and then I decided to paint the ceiling because I had messed up top so bad that I just was like, well, I'll just paint the ceiling, but I didn't have a roller extender, so then I'm just like painting the ceiling like this while paint's getting in my face. I probably had like three emotional breakdowns during these two days of painting. And so like the one night I did it, I, it was like so bad. And I was like, that's it, I'm done. I, f I fixed my living room up and I was like, I'm done. And then I woke up and something happened to me where I was like, no, Sarah, you're not done. You're gonna finish it. Even if it's mediocre, you're gonna finish this mediocre task and it's gonna look fine. It's gonna look just fine. So I woke up, I got my coffee and I finished it. And you know what, when I walk in my apartment now, it doesn't look like a professional painted it, but I did it, I did it. Sarah, who doesn't ever do any projects or any kind of, I don't even like crafts people. I'm not a crafty girl. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, let's watch Pinterest and see what I can craft. No, I can give a craft. <laughs> you like that, give a craft. But yeah, so I finished it, I accomplished it. And Accomplishment. It's 2 a.m. people. I really wanted to wait until tomorrow to make this video, but I couldn't because I feel like it's important for me to get stuff out while it's there. I don't want to wait. I don't want to script things. I don't want to like pull myself together. I think I need to be real raw and in the moment to get my point across. And the thing, um, you know, I when you start to really take a mirror to yourself, like when you, it's one thing if you think you're always helping or you're always looking at yourself and seeing what's wrong with you or whatever. It's another thing when you really look at yourself, when you really decide to take a moment or to take the time and to say, I'm going to look at myself and I'm going to get all the crap out of my life and I'm going to see myself good, bad, ugly, beautiful. All of it. I'm gonna look in the mirror at myself. I think it's hard, people. It's hard. Change is not something that is magical, inspirational, and wonderful, and something you wake up feeling like doing any day of the week. It is exhausting and emotionally draining, and it's not something that happens in a month. Or a year I mean who knows we're constantly evolving we're constantly changing we are constantly working on ourselves when is it just enough sometimes I'm just like I don't want to work on myself anymore I just want to take a break I just want to like uh. it's kind of like a diet right like we have to work out we have to watch what we eat if we want a certain type of body we can't just say you know what I'm gonna take a year off and eat 
Twinkies all day and just not work out. Yeah, you can do that, but you're gonna gain like 50 pounds. And that's kind of how it is with your emotional and mental well-being. You have to constantly work on it or you're gonna get lazy and you're gonna go back to your old ways because our old ways is our flesh and our flesh is weak and our flesh wants to mess up and our flesh wants to give in to whatever it wants and our flesh just wants to feel good right now. And that, my friends, is not how you change. But guess what? My name's Sarah, have you met me? I love to mess up. I love to mess up. I'll be on a path, on a path, on a path, and then I was like, what, a butterfly? That butterfly, I'm gonna eat it and it's gonna turn me into a freaking dragon. That's my life. That was a weird analogy, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, I, through the process of change and self-reflection and constantly, you know, reading things and listening to things and blah, 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 that doesn't mean that I freaking turn into Tony Robbins tomorrow because I'm not. I'm Sarah Jessica Chikowsky and I'm a flawed human being and I run to the things that make me feel better. They're not alcohol. It's not drugs. It's attention. I run to attention. Just tell me I'm pretty and tell me you want me and everything is gonna be okay. That's my drug. That is my drug. <laughs> and the more it's taken out of my life, the more I realize how much I crave it, how much I needed it, how much I wanted it to feel okay. And I'm telling you today, I had a moment, I had a I had a week weekend. I didn't do anything. I'm still on my path, but if the opportunity arose, I probably would have. And you know, when you pray for things, be prepared for the answer to be no. And be prepared to get the things you don't want. I literally prayed, take things out of my life that are not helpful to me, whether I want them or not. I said that prayer and I still say it. And guess what? When I when things don't happen and I don't get what I want, I'm mad. I'm hurt, I feel rejected, I don't like it, it makes me uncomfortable. And that is all good stuff. And I was like yelling at myself when I was driving home because I've, I've just kind of been acting a little insecure this past couple days and I was like in the car and I'm like, Sarah, WTF are you doing? You know better. You know what you're supposed to do. Why are you doing it? And I was listening to a podcast and the thing is, you're never gonna feel like doing it. You're never gonna feel like doing the right things. Whatever your comfort zone is, whatever it, it triggers you to go back to the feeling of comfort, even if it's toxic or dysfunctional, you're going to want to go back to it. You're gonna run to it. And if the opportunity presents itself, you might fall in the trap. And that doesn't mean that you give up and that doesn't mean that you stop fighting and that doesn't mean that you wake up tomorrow and you try again, but damn it. If you could just tell yourself and then do it. It's one thing to know it. It's another thing to take your physical body and do the things that your brain knows for you to do. And it is a challenge, people. It is a challenge. And so I feel like I don't want to ramble and I don't want to, you know, make this like some self-help thing because guess what? I don't know what I'm doing most of the days that I wake up. I'm just doing the best that I can and I am determined, I am determined to change my life. I don't just want to. I don't just need to. I am determined to change and it's going to be messy and it's going to be rough and I'm probably going to make some mistakes. In fact, I'm definitely going to make some mistakes. But if you are anything like me and you are emotional and you are sensitive and you are overthinking and you are sabotage which I, that's not a word, but I just mean, if, if you have a lot of feelings, if you go off your emotions, if you're, if you just like feel things intensely, which I know it sounds dramatic, but that's just how I am. And if you are like that, you, you know how hard it is to get out of this and get into your body physically and move instead of be stuck here like a zombie who knows better but just I cannot do any and then just get it out of your head and move it into your body and just do it there's nothing else I can tell you there's nothing else I can tell myself at this point I know what to do 
I know what's going to make me a better person. I know what's going to change my life. It's just my head that's getting in the way. And that's okay. It's okay to go through everything that you need to go through. It's okay to freaking mess up. It's okay, but at a certain point you have to, I like, if I could have shook myself, I would have shaken myself and said, Sarah, stop, stop. You can't cry victim your whole life. You can't blame other people. You can't say you have daddy issues. You can't say you, you, you don't know what you're doing. You can't say you can't help yourself because you can, you can, and I can. And when I say you, I'm talking to me, I'm yelling at, it, it's easier to yell at you than to yell at me because we're kind of the same, whatever. I'm talking to a freaking camera anyways. So that's it in a nutshell. It's basically stop waiting for your feelings to motivate you and just start doing it. Get out of your head and move into your body whatever you have to do. Listen, change is dramatic. Change is hard. You can't just wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what? I'm done with toxic relationships. No, it's not how it works. What do you need to do to change yourself from being in patterns of toxic relationships? So here's the deal, people, because I don't want to just be a hypocrite. I don't want to say all this stuff every week to you and then just not do it myself and not practice what I preach and, you know, just put cute little videos up on Instagram about me painting my apartment. Who gives a crap? What am I really doing? What am I really changing? That's what we want to know. What am I going to do to really shake things up and change? What am I going to do? Because you can't just tell yourself to stop. You have to actually take action to stop. Your brain is just not going to stop. You have to freaking take action and stop. And I'm sorry this video is long and I don't actually care because I have to get this out. So listen, I know that a big part of my thing is um, publicly doing this. I have a Facebook page now, I have an Instagram page now, but listen, but that stuff is irrelevant to change my life. I mean, who cares if two people watch this or 500 people watch it? The goal at the end of this is that I, I change my life in all different aspects, no matter what it takes, no matter what it takes. So I've decided, and, and I, when I thought about the dating thing, I knew it was something I had to take out. And I have, even though it's been difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's been very difficult, but I, I knew that was something I needed to take out of the equation. So I verbally said, I'm taking this out of the equation. I made a, a promise to myself that I would take it out. And now I know that for one month, I need to take out social media. I need to be off of Instagram. I need to be off of Facebook. I need to be off of Snapchat. I'll still make videos on YouTube. So you can still check back and see what I'm doing because there's no social interaction on this kind of really. It's just my thing but for one month I'm off of social media if you need to do that to change your life if you need to take out the validation part of your mental state because that's a big part of my brain is the validation through everything and in order to get drastic changes you need to do drastic things and I know that doesn't sound like a big deal like going off social media for a month but it is it is, and you know what, and you know if it's you that I'm talking to. If you're scrolling right now, do something dramatic to be something dramatic. So that's what I'm doing. So I will be back next week with another video on YouTube, but as far as social media, I'll see you on Halloween. Bye.